Good morning, first grade. This is Miss Webb here, ready to do your phonics with you. So let's get started with just naming some of our sounds. Are you ready? Here we go. E. Burr. Sl. Dur. A G E and E. There's a new one. A Oof Nt Ong Mp Er Zul Kul ing w a qu e ink good job okay now we're going to go ahead and blend some phonemes together here we go you ready der a ah, draw trelp Braid, tool, bulk, glint, and one more, sling. Good job, you guys. Now, yesterday, Mrs. White taught you a diphthong. And to review, remember, a diphthong is when two vowels come together to form a new sound. So, she introduced a new sound, and it was the OO that you hear in the word school. So the OO says ooh. But today, I'm going to teach you another sound that that diphthong makes. And I'm going to show you the card. Here's our OO card, but the sound card, the picture at the bottom of it is the picture of a book. So we've got a school and a picture of a book. And today I'm gonna to talk about the other sound that OO makes. So another sound that it makes is the sound that is in the word book, uh. Can you say that for me? Say uh. Okay. So let's write the two letters together, the two vowels, the OO together on our hand. Let's trace it on our hand and say that uh sound together. Let's do it three times, ready? O, O, uh. O, O, uh. One more time. O, O, uh. Okay, so the new sound is uh as in book. Now, before I show you my next slide, I want you to kind of brainstorm, put on your thinking caps. I want you to think about a couple of words that sound like the O, O in book. Okay? And you can pause this video at any time. I'm going to move forward, but if you want to pause it and think about it, I'm going to show you the words that I came up with. Here are some words that have that same sound in book. We've got look, foot, and wood. They all have the uh sound. So that is our new sound for today. And now I want you to pause the video and get either a piece of paper and a pencil or a whiteboard and a white uh, dry erase marker, whatever you have to write with, because now I want you to, we're gonna do our dictation on paper. So, or on whatever you've got to write on. So I'm going to um, have you pause the video and go ahead and get that. And we're gonna get started on our first word that I want you to write. This person is cooking. We're not gonna use the ing, but I want you to write the word cook. Cook. Let's pound it. Cook. K. Uh. K. Let's see if you got it. Good. It's C O O K. Fix it. If you didn't do it right, you can pause the video. The next picture is a picture of a hood. Hood. Uh. D. Let's see if you can write that one. Hood. Pause it if you need to. Did you get it? 
H O O D, hood. Okay, great. Now we're going to write our sentence. And I have a picture of a bed up on the screen. And our sentence is Did you look under the foot of the bed? Let's count the words. Did you look under the foot of the bed? Nine words. Pause it if you need to. Did you look under the foot of the bed? Let's see if you got it right. Did you look under the foot of the bed? There's a capital letter here. I hope you found, I hope you did your capital letter spaces between your words and look at the end mark here. The punctuation mark was a question mark. Did you get that right? I hope so. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is go to Seesaw and you are going to read the words and the sentences. You can practice them as much as you can or as much as you want to and then you're gonna record yourself reading those words and those sentences and turn them into your teacher. On, um, you're gonna go to Seesaw to do this. You'll see the assignment there. Have a great day, we'll see you soon. Miss you guys, bye.